from an amazing Gordon Ramsay lobster tail fish and chip spot that tastes like heaven on earth and it's approved by my daughter to the best sushi in Vegas plus a sushi burrito that's simply out of this world they have pokey and they even have a surf and turf filet mignon roll ooh mama mia plus I'll show you guys the best spot for crab legs crawfish and shrimp in a bag with a secret sauce that is so amazing rated number one by Adam Richman from the hit TV show Man vs. Food and oh MG Adam Richmond actually lost a lot of weight years after the show stopped. Plus, I'll show you guys a spot that offers the best dollar oysters in Las Vegas, and they even have an amazing seafood gumbo. And I'll show you guys a spot that offers the best fried catfish and shrimp, southern style, and they even have fried alligator tail. Ooh, mama mia. It's Dave, Las Vegas, and you're watching Vegas Elite TV. Welcome to Las Vegas, guys. Now, first, I want to take you guys to a place that offers the best crab legs, crawfish, shrimp in a bag. And this spot was even rated number one by Adam Richman from the hit TV show Man vs. Food. So the place is called Hot and Juicy Crawfish. They have three locations, one on the Las Vegas Strip and actually two in the Las Vegas Chinatown area. Now the one on the strip is the most busiest. This one's actually pretty busy too, not to mention they're at 50% capacity, so we always do carry out. But if you're going to do a reservation, definitely, you know, call in advance because you don't want to get there and have to wait two to three hours to sit down. And sometimes it could be three to four hours. But what makes these guys so unique is they have their secret hot and juicy sauce in a bag seafood broil style. So I picked up uh, six pounds of the snow crab and then two pounds of shrimp. So this wasn't cheap. It was a little over 200 bucks, but I will say this. They have the best crab legs in Las Vegas in a bag, hands down. And what makes these guys so unique is their secret sauce. So their hot and juicy sauce is their spiciest, but that's the best. So you can get different levels. You can even get mild, you can get medium. But the hot and juicy sauce is a banger. And actually, both of my daughters like to eat their uh, snow crabs with their famous hot and juicy sauce. And it is super spicy, but so good. And my younger daughter actually ate three of these different uh, snow crab clusters. Look at her. She's going for that sauce. The next time you guys come to Las Vegas and you're looking for some good crab legs, crawfish, shrimp, you got to check out my friends at Hot and Juicy Crawfish and you want it spicy, make sure you guys get their secret hot and juicy sauce. And even Adam Richman from Travel Network's hit TV show Man Vs. Food approves this place. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. So now I'm going to take you guys back to the Las Vegas Strip to the Link Casino's Promenade Shopping Center to check out Gordon Ramsay's famous fish and chip spot. And one thing that I love about this place is their fish and chips. It's not just crispy, it's very delicious. So the Link Casino is home of the famous high roller, Ferris wheel. It's the world's largest Ferris wheel. Each cart holds up to 40 people and it even has a bar where you can order drinks all the way up to the top. The Link Promenade area is a cool place where you can eat, drink, and go shopping. And there's so many places for food and drinks here. At night, this place literally comes to life. Now, next door to the Flamingo Casino is a place called Breeze's uh, Daiquiri uh, Bar where you can order margaritas, pina coladas, and even those famous big yard drinks you see people walking around the strip with. And then next door to the Breeze Daiquiri Bar is Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chip Spot. Now, I'm with my daughter today. It's Easter, so this place is definitely packed. Uh, about two hours ago, I picked up hot and juicy crawfish for my family, so my daughter actually already ate. Now, don't get me wrong, I love hot and juicy crawfish, but today I felt like some Gordon Ramsay fried lobster tail. So, I'm getting their fish and chips uh, lobster tail. You get two lobster fried lobster tails, uh, two pieces of shrimp, and uh, chips. Well, the Brits call it chips, we call it fries. So it comes up to about 20 bucks. So it's not bad. And you get a drink. 
So for each basket, you can pick up to two sauces. I always get their sriracha sauce and their spicy uh, mango sauce. Now we're at the front of the line. And I know my daughter's getting restless right now, but she's having fun. Right above us, you can see you can even go uh, zip lining over here at the promenade area. So it's pretty cool. So you can ride the Ferris wheel. You can go zip lining, go out shopping, eat, drinking. This is a cool little spot. So now we're going inside. So it's been about two years since I've uh, checked this place out. Last time I got the fish and chips basket, but today I wanted to try that lobster tail basket. You get two lobster tails, two pieces of shrimp. You get your chips, which is the fries, and a drink for like nineteen ninety nine, so twenty bucks. So you can't beat that. They're busy, but they're always busy. So if you could come early that's good but if not it is first come first serve so it took us about 25 30 minutes to get up in here i placed my order if you drive your car at the link casino you do have to pay for parking but i got five dollars off on my receipt when i showed my little parking voucher so it's pretty cool i got five dollars off and then i added an extra piece of fish um it's like an alaskan codfish fried you know to perfection and i'm talking about their fish look how crispy that looks it's delicious so i've had fried fish all my life but this place is unique it's special i don't know if they're using a uh, beer batter or what but gordon ramsay you know he's a perfectionist so one thing that i love about this place their fish and chips is is a banger i've been here two years ago and i've had it uh, last time we were here, my sister ordered their uh, lobster tail. I got the fish and chips, but today I wanted to try the lobster tail. And, and all I can say is it's delicious. It's crispy. So if you guys come to Vegas and go over here to the Link Promenade, you got to check this place out. Now, that's the sauce. I got the, uh, the sriracha sauce, and then I got that curry mango sauce. And it's just a perfect combination when you dip it with, with the, uh, that lobster tail. I mean, it's a banger. So now I'm trying that fried shrimp. I'm dipping it in, in uh, that curry mango sauce, but it doesn't matter. I like the curry mango sauce and I love that sriracha sauce. Although I wish that sriracha sauce was a little bit spicier. Now my daughter, she can eat when it's something that she likes. She actually likes their fries, although about two hours ago she had uh three clusters of crab legs from hot and juicy crawfish and now she wants to eat all my fries but you know, i'm not a fry person i had like two or three fries but my focus was the fish i had that extra um piece of fish i got that for 3.99 it's their uh, i think it's alaskan it's like a cod, alaskan codfish but it's just so crispy and delicious and and that's one thing i love about going over here to gordon ramsay's fish and chip spot so my daughter was getting restless. We uh, went next door over here to this I Love Sugar spot. And it's pretty cool, man. You take your kids over here. They're, they're in heaven. We went upstairs. And when you go upstairs, they have a whole other section where they sell um, chocolate. And then they have this little uh, bar where you can order their candy drinks. They have like candy, uh, alcoholic beverages and stuff like that. So that's for adults only. But it's a pretty cool place to have this huge section where they have all this candy. And up here they have that um, chocolate and stuff. So I took a picture uh, with my daughter next to that I Love uh, Sugar statue. And she kept pointing up. And I was trying to figure out what is she pointing at. She was pointing at those people zip lining. Now, past the uh, I Love Sugar stores, this little uh, fountain where you can sit down. And my daughter finished the rest of those fries. She's pretty picky, but she tore up those fries. So now that's a nice view of the high roller, but that high roller is amazing. Each cart holds about 40 people. It has a bar so you can order drinks. In fact, they, they actually have a happy hour. I think I even saw it on uh, Groupon where you can get a discount. I'm not sure if they still have it, but they had a deal on Groupon. And uh, if you're a local, you can get a little discount for their happy hour but but regardless if you come over here during happy hour you get your little discount so now i'm going to take you guys back off the las vegas strip to this place um called hush puppies and if you're looking for some southern fried catfish some shrimp 
Uh, they even have alligator tail. They had fried oysters. And the prices aren't bad. I got six pieces of alligator tail for just $6.99. It's fried alligator tail. Now I got the box of catfish. It comes with five pieces of catfish. They're french fries, four hush puppies, coleslaw, uh, green tomato relish. It's about 11 bucks and 25 cents. So you can't beat the price. Their hush puppies are always pretty good. Their catfish is is pretty good, and I'm not a, a catfish person. I don't just go out and be like I'm look look for catfish. I'll usually eat some uh, salmon or some whiting. I usually don't go for catfish, but I'll tell you one thing about this place: their catfish is pretty good. It's one of my favorite places to go out for catfish here in Vegas. You just go to the drive-through, pick up the food, and go back home or go back to your hotel room. So now I've been coming to Hush Puppies for a little over a decade and I've never tried this alligator tail. I wanted to try it. You get six pieces. Um, I mistakenly said six ninety nine is five ninety nine, so six bucks. It ain't bad. And it's actually pretty good. Every time I come over here, I'll get the catfish plate, uh, which comes with the five pieces of catfish, the two hush puppies, the french fries. Uh, the coleslaw and then the green tomato relish but I wanted to try the uh, alligator tail and I'll say this I was surprised it's actually pretty good it tastes like chicken lol but no it actually has a unique distinct taste and not to mention with their sweet chili sauce it's a banger I mean it's, it's about a 10 already without that but with the sweet chili sauce it's a banger the coleslaw is pretty good I, I was upset because they gave me two packs of the coleslaw because they were out of their their uh, green tomato relish. But the Hush Puppies is a banger. They got this uh, honey butter. You dip it with their Hush Puppies, it's good. Shoot, sometimes I'll dip that honey butter with the catfish and I'm in heaven. So yeah, next time you guys come to Las Vegas and you're looking for some good catfish, fried catfish, fried shrimp, alligator tail, southern style, you got to check out my friends at Hush Puppies. Now, so now the next place I want to take you guys to is also off the Las Vegas Strip. It's one of my favorite spots for sushi, hands down. And I've been to many sushi restaurants. And one of the reasons why I love this place so much, it's um, they have unique sushi. You can get sushi burrito. They got sushi burgers. Uh, my Vegas ranks this one of the number one sushi restaurants in Vegas, hands down. Need I say more? But I wanted to do a more in-depth video of this place so I can show you guys some of the options that they have to offer for sushi. We always come here with my family. I do the ace menu where you get the all-you-can-eat sushi. It's a little over 20 bucks a person. It's well worth it. Now, they also do uh, Japanese hibachi. So I've never came here for the hibachi. I've been to Benihana's and other places like that. But I wanted to dive in a little deeper and show you guys some of the options you can get. So that fried tempura shrimp is always delicious. Now my younger daughter, she's not a big fan of sushi, so she got this uh, Korean fried chicken, which is a banger. She actually loves it. Every time we come here, we'll get that for her or some chicken wings, but she's happy. Now my older daughter just finished that salmon lover's roll. She loves that roll. Actually, that roll is a banger. I love salmon myself. So now take a good look at these rolls. Everything is fresh. The first roll was the salmon lover's roll, but all four of these rolls are fresh. That pokey was amazing. And not to mention, it was very fresh. A decade ago, me going to a sushi restaurant, I wouldn't eat half of this, but I have acquired the taste for sushi. I love pokey. I love salmon, tuna. I mean, all this seafood, all this exotic seafood is delicious. And what makes this place unique from a lot of other sushi restaurants, the ingredients are fresh. That sushi burrito is delicious. The uh, That tempura uh, roll was very good. And you guys are probably wondering why I'm not using chopsticks right now, but I can't. I don't have the patience. But sushi is definitely one of my top 10 foods I enjoy eating. Over here on the other side, you can see they're doing hibachi. If you guys are looking for some good hibachi, check out my video. It was on my birthday uh, two years ago. I went to Benihana's on the Las Vegas Boulevard, and that was some amazing hibachi. So yeah, I definitely like to uh, dab my sushi in a little bit of that soy sauce, put some with a little bit of ginger and wasabi. 
Now this was a unique roll. It was actually pretty good. And that's what I love about Janga Steak and Sushi. They have some unique rolls over here. They actually have a filet mignon, a surf and turf roll, which is delicious. So yeah, next time you guys come to Las Vegas and you guys are looking for some good, authentic sushi, make sure you check out my friends at Janga Steak and Sushi. So now the last spot I wanna take you guys is just a few minutes off the Las Vegas Strip. You take Las Vegas Boulevard to a street called Sahara Avenue. It's called Palace Station Casino. And they just renovated the hotel. It's like over $400 million renovation. But what I love about this place, there's a oyster bar over here. They have a deal from five in the morning to 10 a.m. You gotta get here early, 99 cent oysters. And they're known for their seafood gumbo. But if you're looking for some good, fresh oysters, and if you can get up early in the morning between 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., you can get these oysters for 99 cents. But overall, it's still not bad, even if you come out here during regular business hours. But their seafood gumbo is a banger. They stay busy. You got to come here early. But that wraps it up for the day. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys subscribe to this page and ring the bell for new video notifications. And you all have a great day. Thank you.